Hello and welcome back. So we've taken a look at scaling two-dimensional lines and now we're going to take a look at three-dimensional objects. So I'm going to create a box at zero and just pull it out. And the first uh, feature that we're going to look at is again the one scale, uh, the one-dimensional scale. So starting that command I'm going to select the object to scale that's my object and uh, and then the origin point so the origin point again is is the point from which everything will scale so in this case I'm gonna start within my perspective view just snapping at the uh, end, end snap there and my my reference point which will give me the direction of the scale I'm gonna set at this other end point right here so I've clicked those two and now as I pull out I'm scaling I'm increasing the scale or decreasing the scale accordingly. The uh, this this one-dimensional scale will also work um, not just on uh, not just across this construction plane, but can also happen in three-dimensional space as well, uh, much like we saw for rotation. So in this case, if I were to restart that one-dimensional scale and set my origin at this snap down here. I'm going to now place my second snap at the top corner right here. And so that's now defining this this new direction for the scale. And as I pull out, that scale is now happening along that axis. So it'll essentially distort the object along the two points that I've chosen. I'm just going to undo that. What if I wanted to uh, scale something so that it moves down below or up above my perspective view? Well, I would take advantage of my front or right viewports. So I'm going to do this in the front viewport. I'm going to rerun that command, just a right click, and uh, select my object. And um, I don't always have to use the endpoints. I might want to just use a midpoint, for instance. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn on my mid snap and select my my midpoint there and a midpoint down there and now as I look in my perspective view I can see that I'm uh, stretching the object downwards like that. The uh, two-dimensional scale you can probably already imagine what's going to happen but we'll just take a look at that so uh, I'm going to select the object again in perspective view and set my origin and my reference point and as I pull out now it's scaling relative to that line and to my origin. Okay. Um, if I wanted to let's say scale this object and I wanted it to scale so that rather than moving from this origin point outwards let's say I wanted it to move from the center of the object outwards in all directions. Uh, the best way to do that would be to do it in the top view. So I'm going to again start that two-dimensional scale and um, I already had my object pre-selected so it doesn't even ask me for what object I want to use. It just automatically assumes whatever's selected is going to be used. Um, and so now it's asking me for an origin and I'm going to place it roughly in the middle here just like that. And, uh, and then my uh, my reference point is going to be somewhere along here. Now you'll notice in the preview for the front viewport as I come close to that midpoint in my top view you'll notice that it's actually snapping to the uh, to the top of my box and that's not going to give me the result I want. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm just selecting something across from my first point. So I'm going to just deselect my mid for a second and now I've got you can see in my front viewport now that line is going straight across and so I click to select that and now as I drag out it's uh, scaling in all directions from my origin. So that's how you would grow something from the middle outwards. Just going to undo that. And finally, to take a look at the three-dimensional scale, three-dimensional scale will 
essentially scale something in all three directions. So it, within my perspective view, if I snap there and then there and then pull out, I'm now growing this object in all three directions. And again, in the top view, if I were to do this, um, selecting the center of the box as my origin and then pulling out, I'm now growing it in all three directions from that center point outwards. So I think this concludes the, the general introduction to Rhino that I wanted to go over. In, uh, in other tutorials, we're going to get into specific details for each of the workshops that you guys are taking. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.